By raising your hand, how many of you know at least one of the person on the screen? Well, it's almost a full house. This is true. They are very famous in their field. And do you know what all of them have in common? They all died of pancreatic cancer. However, it's very, very sad. This news. It's also thanks to their personal story that we have raised the awareness of how little this disease can be. It raised to be the third cause of cancer deaths, and only 8% of the patients will survive beyond five years. That's a very tiny number, especially if you compare it with breast cancer, where survival rate is almost 90 percent. So it doesn't really come as a surprise that being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer means facing an almost certain death sentence. What's shocking, though, is that in the last 40 years, this number didn't change a bit, while much more progress has been done for other types of tumor. So how can we make pancreatic cancer treatment more effective? As a biomedical entrepreneur, I like to work on problems that seems impossible, understanding their limitation, and try to find new innovative solution that can change their outcome. The first bad news with pancreatic cancer is that the pancreas is in the middle of your belly, literally. It's depicted in orange on the screen, but you can barely see it until I remove all of the other organs in front. It's also surrounded by many other vital organs like the liver, the stomach, the bile duct, and the ability of the tumor to grow into those organs is the reason why pancreatic cancer is one of the most painful tumor types. The hard-to-reach location also prevents the doctor to surgically remove it, as is routinely done for breast cancer, for example. So all of these reasons leave to pancreatic cancer patients as only option chemotherapy. This brings us to the second bad news: pancreatic cancer tumors have very few blood vessels. So why should we care about the blood vessel of a tumor? Let's think for a second how chemotherapy works. The drug is injected in the vein and it navigates throughout the body until it reaches the tumor site. It's like driving on a highway trying to reach a destination. But what if your destination doesn't have an exit on the highway? You will never get there. And that's exactly the same problem for chemotherapy and pancreatic cancer. The drugs navigate throughout all of your body. They will reach. Healthy organs resulting in high toxic effect for the patient overall, but very little we go to the tumor. Therefore, the efficacy is so limited. To me, it seems very counterintuitive to have a whole body treatment to target a specific organ. However, in the last 40 years, a lot of money, research, and effort has gone towards finding new, powerful drugs to treat pancreatic cancer, but nothing has been done in changing the way we deliver them to the patient. So here, after two bad news, I'm going to give you a good news, hopefully. <laughs> With collaborators at MIT and the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, we have revolutionized the way we treat cancer by making localized drug delivery a reality. We are basically parachuting you on top of your destination, avoiding you to driving all around the highway. We have embedded the drug into device that they look like this one. They are flexible enough that the, they can be. Folded to fit into the catheter, so that the doctor can implant directly on top of the tumor with a minimal invasive surgery. But they are solid enough that once they they are positioned on top of the tumor, they will act as a cage. They will actually physically preventing the tumor to enter into other organs, controlling the the metastasis. The devices are also biodegradable. That means once in the body, they start dissolving, delivering the drug only locally, slowly, and more effective than what is done with the current whole body treatment. In preclinical study, we have demonstrated that this localized approach is able to improve of 12 times the response to treatment. So we took a drug that is already known, and by just delivering it locally, where is needed the most, we allow a response that is 12 times more powerful, reducing the systemic toxic effect. 
We are working relentlessly to bring this technology to the next level. We are finalizing the preclinical testing and the animal model required prior to ask FDA for approval of clinical trials. Currently, the majority of the patients will die of pancreatic cancer, and we are hoping that one day we can reduce their pain, extend their life, and potentially making pancreatic cancer a curable disease. By rethinking the way we deliver the drug, we don't only make them more powerful and less toxic. We are also opening the door to find new innovative solution for almost other impossible problems in pancreatic cancer space and beyond. Thank you very much.